The need for blood donations has never been greater. Yeah, this is the message from the American Red Cross as it faces a national blood crisis. Our Alex Haskell is with us this morning to talk about how the blood shortage is renewing some calls to lift blood donation restrictions that are currently placed on gay and bisexual men. Good morning, Alex. Leon Sharon, good morning. The American Red Cross must follow the U.S. Food and Drug Administration's guidance on who can donate blood. Under FDA policy, men who have sex with men must remain celibate for three months before donating blood. Some say these rules are putting lives at risk right here in Maine. It's really frustrating as somebody who works in HIV prevention to see that this is still something that's in practice today. Orion Tucker works at Health Equity Alliance in Bangor. If it was up to him, he'd roll up his sleeve and donate blood right now. I have O positive blood, a universal type that is accessible to anybody who may be in need. But his blood isn't wanted. Because I have sex with men. And it's really important to note that I'm in a monogamous committed relationship within this individual that I'm with. Restrictions on blood donations from gay and bisexual men who are considered to be at high risk for HIV or AIDS transmission date back to the 1980s and are facing renewed criticism. We are concerned about uh, you know, how do we take care of patients? Stephen Michoud is president of the Maine Hospital Association. He says hospitals in Maine are postponing surgeries as they face the blood shortage crisis firsthand. He believes it's time to reform blood donation restrictions. We test and retest blood. I just, I, some of this puzzles me, I will admit. According to a study by UCLA's Williams Institute, lifting restrictions on gay and bisexual men will increase the annual blood supply by two to four percent and save more than a million lives a year. Honestly, I think it's outrageous and antiquated. Maine Congresswoman Shelley Pingree is among a group in Congress calling on the FDA to remove the restrictions. Why are we using this you know, very personal sort of measure of determining whether or not someone's eligible to, to give blood when in fact we test the blood supply before it's used anyway? So, um, you know, we're just not using good science. Tucker says restrictions like these are among the many barriers the LGBTQ plus community faces every day. It reinforces not only to the individuals, but to the providers that these folks are folks that are engaging in these practices are othered um, in our community, which is causing more problems. So there is a new FDA funded study currently underway and it could ease eligibility requirements for gay and bisexual men seeking to donate blood. The study will evaluate alternatives to the current policy. Alex Haskell, New Center, Maine.